Glenn Arpino is a pharmacist in Pleasant Valley. His wife Kathy was a biochemist who couldn't find work in her field when they moved to the area from the city. And I couldn't find a job doing that again. So she did what any biochemist would do. She experimented with her own blend of natural products to create a skincare lotion. Well, it was one day uh, about three years ago when my wife said to me, I want to make a natural skincare line. And I said, okay, I think you're crazy because it's a lot of work. But I told her to make a few products and we'll put them on my counter because I get a lot of women coming in for certain things. And they come in and they try these products and they're saying, oh my God, this is fantastic. So I'm like, all right, I think we have something here. The first product was called Better Butter. And Glenn had a lot of patients. Most of his patients are menopausal women. So uh, uh, skin dryness is a condition they suffer from. So we wanted to make something natural without a lot of chemicals because a lot of people are very sensitive. So that was our first product and people started um, buying it and enjoying it. So we made more. When we started um, working really hard and working 15 hours a day and couldn't you know, keep up with it. So that's when we decided to pursue it and it's been quite successful. So this is really kind of your office. This is our office, this is our laboratory <laughs> where we uh, do our production for all of our creams and lotions and soaps. This is a lotion we're making, um, one of our Hudson Valley skincare lotions. This is a homogenizer. So this is a special machine that kind of mixes everything up. And we kind of let it just sit here for a couple of hours. And you'll see in about an hour or two, this will be a beautiful lotion. The product line has grown over the years. Now I think we have somewhere about 100 products. <laughs> with lotions, fragrances, and soaps, using all natural ingredients, and the background of Kathy's degree in biochemistry. Well, um, it's all part of it because, you know, in order to do this, you have to understand what you're using. You just can't throw things together in your bathtub. You have to understand a lot of things about the raw materials you're using. And this is what I did, this is what I learned how to do. So I'm just continuing really to, to do what I was trained to do. And maybe Kathy should have a degree in developing creative names with the likes of Temptuous Tie, Goat 2, and Bodacious Body Lotion. Bodacious Body Lotions are, that's the name of our body lotions, and we have them in different fragrances and different essential oil blends. We have um, scrubs, scandalous sugar scrubs. We have Goat 2 lotions, those are our goat's milk products. The goat's milk is from Coach's Farm in Amenia. So we try to work with local um, companies and use their raw materials on our product. It's like honey from a bee farm. We use maple syrup from a very well-known syrup maker. So we do use products that we can incorporate into our products. But the tenant of the company and the pride of Kathy and Glenn is to use all natural ingredients. There's a lot of, a lot of people really want natural products these days, so we, we don't know where it's going to go. We just think it's going to keep growing. Her driving motivation for working the long hours and facing all the challenges of an entrepreneur is her desire to help people. And making people look good is also part of helping them because when you look better, you feel better. It affects your whole personality, everything about you. So it is very important to me and the positive reinforcement she's been getting. People are, uh, comment about our fragrances, how much they love the way things smell and feel, but most of the time people really comment on how they're really happy that things have a very low chemical load. They're very natural, and most of our customers, that's very important to them. They're the same customers who buy organic vegetables or meats, so that's our customer base. And that's what we, we enjoy, the fact that they uh, understand and appreciate these products. So what's the biggest challenge of entrepreneurship for this former biochemist and nurse? The biggest challenge of being in business is that you have to generate income and sales. That's, that's the hard part about it, is you have to pay for this whole thing. And it never stops. Having a business is a 24-hour. You have to have a lot of um, resilience to have a business. It's 24 hours a day. You'll find her Hudson Valley skincare products in shops that you probably already shop at. Um, all of the Adams Fair Acre Farms carry our products, um, Mohonk Mountain House, there's about um, 20 other little stores in the area that use our products. So what's next for this husband and wife team? We're trying to get into uh, basically down to New York City in that area to sell products. And the reality of that will be temptuous and bodacious.